Without any further delay let's start the remaining part of All About Birds. Before that if you still not subscribe, please do this favor press the subscribe button and bell icon. Coastal Birds Coastal birds are a diverse group of species that are adapted to the unique environments found along coastlines. They can be divided into categories based on the specific coastal habitats they prefer. Here are some examples of coastal bird species and their divisions. Seabirds Seabirds spend most of their lives at sea but come to land for breeding. They include species like albatrosses, puffins, and gannets. For example, the northern gannet nests along the coasts of the North Atlantic. Shorebirds Shorebirds are often found along the shoreline, including sandy beaches and mudflats. Examples include sandpipers, plovers, and the red knot, which migrates along coastlines. Gulls and terns Gulls and terns are well adapted to coastal environments. Common species include the herring gull and the royal tern. Pelicans Brown pelicans are known for their characteristic plunge diving to catch fish along coastal waters. Herons and egrets These wading birds are often found in coastal wetlands and estuaries. The great blue heron and snowy egret are common examples. Penguins While many people associate penguins with polar regions, several species are adapted to coastal areas, such as the African penguin. Cormorants Cormorants are excellent divers and are often seen perched on rocks or drying their wings in coastal areas. Oyster catchers Oyster catchers are known for their long, bright colored bills, which they use to feed on mollusks and crustaceans along the shore. Skimmers Black skimmers are known for their unique bills, with the lower mandible longer than the upper, which they use to skim the water's surface for prey. Seagulls Seagulls are a diverse group of coastal birds, including species like the ring-billed gull and the western gull. Plovers Plovers, such as the snowy plover and piping plover, are small shorebirds that often nest on sandy beaches. Mountain birds Mountain birds inhabit the various altitudinal zones of mountainous regions around the world. They are adapted to the challenging conditions of high elevations and can be categorized based on the types of mountains they prefer. Here are some examples of mountain bird species and their divisions. Alpine birds Alpine environments are characterized by high altitudes and rocky, snow-covered terrain. Birds adapted to these conditions include the alpine chuff, the Himalayan snowcock, and the white-winged snowfinch. Montane birds Montane regions are found at lower altitudes than alpine areas and are often covered in forests or meadows. Species like the mountain bluebird and the bearded vulture are found in montane habitats. Highland birds Highland birds can be found in a variety of mountainous habitats, and species such as the Andean condor, the golden eagle, and the mountain quail inhabit different highland ranges. Subalpine birds Subalpine regions are the transition zones between montane and alpine habitats. Birds like the American Dipper and the Golden Crowned Kinglet can be found in these areas. Rocky Mountain Birds The Rocky Mountains in North America are home to various species, including the Mountain Bluebird, Clark's Nutcracker, and the American Three-Toed Woodpecker. Andean Birds The Andes Mountain Range in South America supports a diverse avian community, including the Andean Condor, the Andean Goose, and the Andean Flicker. Himalayan Birds the Himalayas are one of the world's great mountain ranges and are inhabited by species like the Himalayan manal, the Himalayan griffin vulture, and the white-cheeked nuthatch. European Mountain Birds The Alps and other European mountain ranges have birds such as the Alpine Accenter, the Bearded Vulture, and the Wall Creeper. African Mountain Birds Birds like the Lammergeier, the Mountain Chat, and the Scarlet-Tufted Malachite Sunbird are found in African mountain ranges like the Drakensberg Mountains. Asian Mountain Birds the Altai Mountains, the Tian Shan, and other Asian mountain ranges are inhabited by species like the Snow Partridge, the Altai Snowcock, and the Himalayan Vulture. Urban Birds Urban areas host a variety of bird species that have adapted to living in and around cities. These urban adapted birds are often referred to as urban birds. Their distribution and preferences can vary based on the specific urban area, but here are some general categories of urban birds and their divisions. Generalist urban birds, these birds are highly adaptable and can thrive in a wide range of urban environments. Examples include pigeons, rock doves, house sparrows, and European starlings. They are often found in cities worldwide. Birds of prey, some raptors have adapted to urban areas, taking advantage of the abundance of pigeons and other small prey. Urban raptors may include peregrine falcons, red-tailed hawks, and kestrels. Corvids, crows and ravens are often found in urban areas and are known for their intelligence and adaptability. American crows and common ravens are commonly seen in cities. Water birds, urban areas near water bodies like rivers or lakes can host waterfowl such as mallards, Canada geese, and various species of gulls. 
Urban parrots, in some cities, feral populations of parrot species like the monk parakeet and rose-ringed parakeet have established themselves. Invasive birds, some invasive species have successfully colonized urban areas, such as the house sparrow and the European starling in North America. Nectar feeders, in regions with urban gardens and flowers, species like the Anna's hummingbird and the great kiskadee may visit for nectar and insects. Swifts and swallows, species like chimney swifts and barn swallows often nest on buildings and bridges in urban areas. Urban water birds, in cities with water features, species like the black crowned night heron and the snowy egret may be seen foraging. Songbirds, depending on the urban green spaces and parks, you might find songbirds like the house wren, northern mockingbird, and the European robin. Grassland birds. Grassland birds are species adapted to open grassy habitats, such as prairies, steppes, and savannas. They can be categorized based on the specific type of grassland they inhabit. Here are some examples of grassland bird species and their divisions. North American prairie birds, these birds are adapted to the vast grasslands of North America. Examples include the western meadowlark, the horned lark, and the greater sage grouse in the sagebrush steppe. African savanna birds, the African savannas are inhabited by species like the secretary bird, the lilac breasted roller, and the African crown crane. Eurasian steppe birds, the Eurasian steppe is home to birds like the great bustard, the Eurasian skylark, and the little bustard. South American Pampas Birds, birds in the South American Pampas, such as the Rufus Horniero and the Fork-tailed Flycatcher, are adapted to the grasslands of the region. Australian Grassland Birds, Australia's grasslands feature species like the superb fairy wren, the eastern yellow robin, and the white-winged chuff. Asian Steppe Birds, the steppe regions of Asia are home to species like the Demoiselle Crane, the Mongolian Lark, and the Palace's Sandgrouse. Shortgrass prairie birds, birds in the shortgrass prairies of the Great Plains in North America may include the lark bunting and the burrowing owl. Tropical grassland birds, birds in tropical grasslands and savannas of regions like Africa and South America include the African jacana, the grasshopper sparrow, and the lilac-breasted roller. Eastern European grassland birds, species such as the common quail and the corn bunting inhabit grasslands in Eastern Europe. Migratory birds, Migratory birds are known for their seasonal movements between breeding and wintering grounds. They can be categorized based on their migration patterns and distances traveled. Here are some divisions of migratory bird species based on their migration patterns. Short distance migrants. These birds have relatively short migration distances, often within the same continent. Examples include the American robin, which migrates within North America, and the European robin, which moves within Europe. Long-distance migrants. Long-distance migrants travel thousands of miles between continents. Species like the Arctic tern migrate from the Arctic to the Antarctic, covering vast distances. Altitudinal migrants. Some birds migrate to different altitudinal zones on mountains. For instance, the snow finch moves between lower and higher altitudes in the Himalayas. Altitudinal directional migrants. Birds like the white-crowned sparrow migrate between high-latitude breeding areas and low-latitude wintering areas while following a particular mountain range. Intracontinental migrants. These birds migrate within a single continent, often traveling long distances but not crossing oceans. An example is the Swainson's hawk, which migrates from North America to South America. Intercontinental migrants. Intercontinental migrants cross oceans during their journeys. Species like the bar-tailed godwit make non-stop flights between Alaska and New Zealand. Nocturnal migrants. Many songbirds, such as warblers and sparrows, migrate at night to avoid predators. They use stars and Earth's magnetic field for navigation. Diurnal migrants. Some birds, like raptors, storks, and waterfowl, migrate during the day, often using thermals and updrafts for efficient flight. Elevational migrants. Some species migrate up and down mountains seasonally. For example, the black pole warbler breeds in northern North America and migrates to South America, making its way across the eastern U.S. and the Caribbean. Nomadic migrants. Certain birds, such as the red crossbill, exhibit nomadic movements in search of food resources rather than traditional seasonal migrations. I hope you enjoy this video. Be sure to press subscribe and bell icon and don't forget to like share and comment. Thanks for watching.